the human brain starts working the moment you're born and never stops until you have to stand up to speak in public. Sir George Jessel. We can all probably relate to that a little bit, at least I know I can personally, because when I get up here, literally everything I practice just kind of like walks out the door. My public speaking habits are like not the greatest. I do weird things when I'm talking in front of people and I don't really know why. So I guess like everyone has bad habits, but mine are, I like to fiddle a lot. And I also have like this weird, like more boring voice than I usually talk in where I just sound like I want to be at home taking a nap and not here. But first of all, fiddling. So I like to grab at like my dress and I don't really know why that's a thing, but I like to do this like the whole time. And then like rub my arm like I'm kind of having a heart attack, even though I'm definitely not, but who knows. I also tend to like cross my legs like I'm doing like this weird Irish jig thing and dance around, it's fine. Um, and along with those, so I have like a pretty boring voice, not like monotone quite, but just not quite enthusiastic, kind of like I was sort of excited, but like also like I wanted to go home, which I probably did because I hate speaking in public. I sounded kind of dull and boring, but not like bad enough that you just didn't want to watch, but like bad enough that you just wanted to like leave. So <laughs> those are my bad habits. And to fix them, I could probably like figure out how to incorporate my hands instead of like weirdly having a stroke and things and like learn how to stand still and like plant my feet. There's some trick where if you put one foot in front of the other, you're not supposed to move or sway or something. Maybe that'll work. But like Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, all great speakers were bad speakers at first. So there's hope for us.